got it Top on it Did I ever ask you to take me to go Shopping in Paris or go Sailing overseas and just Drape me in Gucci, no All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone So everybody, we are on our way to Atlanta Georgia. We have one more thing to get out of storage and then we'll be done. And so, yeah, catching flights 2024. Catching flights. Hi, so we just made it to Atlanta. We just got our flight, so we are on our way now to go get our Uber and then we're going to head over to the hotel and then we're going to go from there as far as getting our stuff from storage and the movers. So yep, I am in the Atlanta airport, so gotta find an Uber Hey guys, so we just made it to our hotel room. We are staying in the same hotel um that we did when we came here in december and so they just upgraded us a little bit because our room was not ready because we needed to uh get in early but let me tell y'all something and i ain't trying to be funny i'm really not trying to be funny but if you are uber driver please don't take it the wrong way can you make sure that your car smell good okay our uber to the hotel all i smell was booty booty and nasty booty okay the smell was so bad i wasn't even talking to uber and i knew my husband knew something was wrong because i'm always talking but baby i couldn't even do it so right now since we checked in early um we missed breakfast and so we're gonna um uber do uber eats and so the reason that we're here guys is because you all know that we sold our remaining home in georgia and now we need to clear out our storage so we've got some moving guys gonna um, help us clean it out and then once we get it all cleaned out Y'all, we got to do a road trip. So we are going back to Dallas in a U-Haul. Yes. So let me uh, figure out what husband's going to do so we can get some food in our bodies and get nourished because um, I've been up since uh, 3 this morning. Been up since 3. And so we'll let me get to the light. And so, um, yeah, I'm tired. I need to get some rest. So let me get myself together. Oh, y'all know I'm looking dark. Ooh. -oh. Let me get by this window so y'all can see me. And hey guys, sorry about that, but um, my uh, battery went dead. So yeah, so let me get out of this hat. This is a coach hat and um, get myself relaxed. So let me do a quick tour of what I'm wearing. I am wearing a blue jean jacket that I've had for some time now. And it's a crop jacket. And then underneath the jacket, I have on this um, zip up. And I think I got this from forever 21 i think or was it rainbow one of them and then as far as the outfit let me give y'all a good look at this outfit because this outfit is banging so okay can you order me a chicken deluxe sandwich like the one that you had okay um uh, well i could eat the fries too and something to drink we ain't got nothing to drink here all right guys so here's the blue jean jacket that i had on it was a crop jacket and then this is the um, white zip up that I've gotten from, I believe it's either Rainbow or Forever 21, whichever one is, I will link it. And then um, I ended up putting on this one piece and this is also from Rainbow. I also put in my seamless on here and this is from uh, Forever 21 because I need to put a, a bra on, but yeah, but overall, this is kind of like what it looks like if I didn't have the uh, the bra on. And it's just like a regular, regular, regular one piece. So yeah, so let me get up here and get me some rest, y'all, because your girl is tired. I am tired. And it seemed like the bathroom only has the best light, which really sucks. So I'm gonna go lay down and then I'll pick you guys back up once we um, get our stuff together and uh, leave the room.
small truck, but um, I wanted to get on right quick just to say that I am just so happy right now. And let me tell you the reason why I'm happy. Back in 2021, right, when we had uh, my house in Illinois, we had a contract on it. It was ready to go. Everything was good. And then uh, the new buyers was like, okay, well, we want to make an amendment. We want you to give us um, pretty much a blank check. So if anything goes wrong with that house, we want you to pay for it for like two years. Excuse me? Now, granted, it was an older style home, but um, I gutted the house. It was new electrical, new plumbing, um, new walls, windows, fixtures, brand new kitchen, um, new flooring. Everything was redone, right? Because it was an older style home, which loved it. Mid-century model is the best way to go, right? So I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So we ended up uh, having that home. We had a home in Georgia and then our home in Texas. Y'all, we was paying three mortgages. Three mortgages since 2021. Three. So, with that being said, um, yeah, it was tight, but it wasn't to the point where we couldn't travel or enjoy life or do anything like that. It wasn't even like that. We could still do that. However, you know, I'm all about watching the coins. So, in 2023, we ended up selling our Illinois home in July and then in 2023 we ended up selling our Georgia home so now we're down to only one home but right now we had a storage in Georgia that we're now cleaning out so that's what y'all have saw so we're getting the storage cleaned out and um, hubby and I are gonna drive back to Dallas in a U-Haul truck okay a U-Haul truck so now thank God we are down to one freaking mortgage one so that's my little story as far as us moving and how we got to Dallas. Oh, we got to Dallas because I had a, um, quote unquote, like a job transfer. So I didn't lose my time or anything like that. So right now we're waiting for the people, uh, the movers to come to help us to unload the storage and put everything in the truck. And then hubby and I are going to go back to the hotel. We're going to chill and we're going to decide if we're going to leave today, uh, early in the morning, or if we're going to leave. Oh, Celia. Ugh. Ugh. If you're going to leave on Sunday, because that's the original day to leave on Sunday. But I would prefer us leaving um, tomorrow if we actually can. So, yeah. So, I am sitting in the truck. Hubby is outside um, moving stuff. I don't know why he moving stuff when you don't pay people to move your stuff. Why are you moving your stuff, sir? Why? So, anywho, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill and um, let them do what they need to do because these are precious hands and i ain't trying to be outside on a little chilly chilly cold moving no stuff but it is what it is so yeah so that's what we're gonna do right now and um i'll pick you guys back up good morning good morning good morning i did not pick you guys back up yesterday because after uh the move we came in we crashed um we got some food and then we crashed again. And now it is 5.30 in the morning, Saturday, uh, February the 3rd, and I am getting ready. And as you can see, I just, I'm a plain face. Um, I threw my hair back, I gotta brush it. Um, I'm gonna put on a little bit of eyebrows because cha, I'm super duper uber plain. And so we're going to go ahead and get on the road. We were going to stay um, until Sunday. Well, we're going to leave early Sunday morning. But we were able to get what we need to get done and get on back. The only thing... Oh, what am I doing, Jesus? This thing's so tight on my head. Hold on, y'all. So yesterday, the guys were able to... Um, we paid for two hours for them to unload the truck. But uh, they got it done in like an hour. And so, um, you know, that was good for them because, you know, then my husband still tipped them. And so we were like, okay, well, this, since that's early, let's go grab some food. And so since we don't have a, a rental car, we had the, uh, the U-Haul. So my husband was like, oh, well, you know, we'll just order a pizza or something. Y'all, why we order the pizza at 6.30 and at 9.30 we still didn't have our food because, you know, we kind of dozed off. 
And so when uh, my husband called and they was like, oh, well, you know, we got all these orders and, you know, it's hard to deliver. And he was like, well, why y'all taking orders and y'all and you can't deliver? Because that don't even make any sense. So then we end up doing um, Uber Eats and we ate some Freddy's. But we're going to start the health kick out on Monday because I forgot about this trip. And I knew that on this trip, I wasn't going to be able to have any nutritional foods and that everything that we gotten is going to have to be... Um, you know, pretty much fast food because we took a flight here. And because we took a flight here, I couldn't bring any extra food. You know what I mean? So we'll just start that um, on Monday. And like I said, it's not just the food portion, it's the workout portion and stuff too. So, you know, with me, it's gonna be a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So um, it's just letting you know what my journey is, is gonna be about, you know what I mean? And my journey for me is to gain muscle mass because um, and we'll talk about that. I had lost weight before and, um, you know, I'm not as tight as I should be as far as my skin. So I'm working on that. Also looking to see where I can find a place where I can, they could do like skin tightening. You know what I mean? With those little machines. I'm thinking about that. So yeah, I am thinking about doing some cosmetic to help, um, enhance or fix my problem areas. And I'm not ashamed to say it. It is what it is. My thing about cosmetic surgery is if you like cosmetic surgery and if that's what you want to do and if it works for you, by all means do it. I'm an advocate of do what you want to do to make yourself feel good. And it's not, you know, for others. You know what I mean? If you're doing it for yourself, great. Do it. You know, have your breasts done. Have a tummy tuck. Have a butt lift. I, I don't care. You know what I mean? I will not judge you. Only thing I say is... If you're going to do those things, make sure you go to a, and it's just my opinion, a board certified doctor. I know a lot of people go um, to like Dominican Republic and these other places in Mexico and have these procedures done. And me, honest with you, for me, it ain't for me. I'm just being honest. It's not for me because if there is something that goes wrong, a setback or something like that, I'm going to be able to get on the phone and say, hey, you know what I mean? I'm having these problems. I done paid you all this money and I need you to fix it or to correct it. And I can't be hopping on no plane, you know, not feeling good, you know, looking for, you know, help. I'm not going to do it. Now, if it works for some of you girls, then it works for some of you girls. I'm just ain't one of them. You know what I mean? I'd rather be local. And if I can't pay for a procedure, um, there's a thing I think you can do um, to finance it. And, um, hold on, y'all. Yeah, there's something you can do to finance it and things like that. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then, too, you don't know if these people are born certified. I don't know. I can't say that because maybe there are some who are board certified and maybe they, you know, got all the proper training and things like that. I'm just saying for me, it's not for me. So, shouts out to the girls and the guys who has gone and got it done and had much success. I'm not knocking it, so don't come after me. I'm just saying that if I decide to have any procedures done, I want to do them in the States because... I'm that type that if something hurt, I'm jumping the car. Uh, ma'am, sir, at the urgent care, a hospital, whatever, a doctor, 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 you know what I mean? Something ain't right, you know what I mean? And I need to fix, I need to fix like now. I'm on them right now type chicks. I ain't trying to wait later on. I'm like, oh, let's just see how it work out. No, no, I want it done right now. So right now I'm just uh, finishing up my hair. I'm gonna pull it back because now you, this portion, we're gonna be in the U-Haul truck for quite some hours. So we are driving from Georgia to um, back to Dallas in today's outfit. I am wearing um, this, uh, hold on, this old Navy outfit. You guys seen this? I bought this when I was in, uh, in uh, Hawaii. And um, it's just a sweatsuit and then my black and white gym shoes. So yeah, so I just wanna jump on right quick to tell you guys, hey, Apologize, couldn't pick you up on yesterday. It just wasn't a good day. I was just super, super tired. And so now I'm gonna go pack up my bags. Hubby went downstairs to put all the stuff uh, in the truck as far as like the navigation, things like that. And then we are going to be heading out. So, road trip. Ooh. All right, y'all, heading to the truck. It's cold out here, it's dark out here. So I'm gonna give hubby the suitcase and put that in the back of the truck and then I'm gonna get in the front of the truck. All right. So let me get in the truck, y'all. 
it's dark. We finally made it home. It is 9.20 p.m. on a Saturday, and your girl is tired. I'm not even gonna lie. I have been in that truck since, what, five something this morning, but the good news is, is that we got all of our stuff out of storage. There's nothing left in Georgia. Um, we have gone from three mortgages down to one mortgage, so God is good, and thank God for that. So I am gonna go ahead and get showered and uh, get in the bed, cause your girl is tired. I don't even lie, I'm tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog today. Um, I know it wasn't a lot that I've done, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of something, but just let you guys know that I am overjoyed that we ain't gotta pay three houses no more. That was three mortgages, three gas bill, three light bills, three water bills, three cable bills i mean it was just so expensive but now we ain't gotta do that no more so i'm gonna go ahead and um take this wig off child and i'm gonna go get in the shower and yeah thank you guys for uh tuning in to my blog if you have not yet subscribed please consider please consider subscribing to my channel more to come more to come and on monday we're gonna go ahead and start our healthy eating healthy uh, way of living on Monday. So I'm excited about that because guys, honestly, being on the road and eating road food, road food, it's just, it just wasn't good for me. I'm just being honest with you. I ain't, you know, stuff that I shouldn't be eating because we weren't able to pack any food because we had to take a flight to um, Georgia and then we drove back. So it is what it is. So other than that, don't forget to thumbs up this video, like it, comment, share it with your friends and family. And yeah, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.